wisely. Yo, what's going on, Sexy Samurai Squad? How you guys doing? I'm playing some Guan Yu, dude. I haven't played Guan Yu in a while. And uh, I saw a comment about Sekhmet Scepter being doubly buffed and being uh, very good now. Like, so, in case you don't know what Sekhmet Scepter is. You do well to choose me hold on. to fight by your side. Hold on, hold on, hold on. I'll show you. Let me just buy some items real quick. Let's just go. Uh, let's just go Aegis. Let's just keep it simple. We'll just keep it simple. So Sekhmet's. Sekhmet's. Is this item that whenever you heal. For the next five seconds. All non-ultimate abilities that I. Or all, every time I damage an enemy god. Once per second. All non-ultimate abilities cooldowns are reduced by one second. So I'm thinking, if I can go 50% cooldowns with Sekhmet Scepter, and probably also a Cad Club, just because if I'm healing that much, I might as well get the extra 30% cooldown. Um, but if I go Transcendence, Genji's, Sekhmet Scepter, and then Cad Club, and then I went 50% cooldown, that item that gives you an extra 10%, and then maybe last item I could go Deathbringer. I don't know if Deathbringer is actually that smart. Deathbringer might be like a an easy way to lose the game. I've, I'm not really 100% sold on the Deathbringer yet, but like the Sekhmets plus the Cat Shield plus the 50% cooldown sounds sick. Okay. I just straight killed that man. I didn't know it was possible to do that much damage on Guan Yu at level 3. Did this man receive a buff? Am I playing a buffed Guan Yu right now? It sure seems like it. Get red. Nice. Actually, he's not even level 5 yet. I could just all in here and he dies, right? Oh no, he has Kraken. Oh, I can't kill. I can't kill. Damn. That was honestly, he leveled up and used his shell at very, very good times. I can't even be mad. I can't even be mad. Good level. Good shell. Good ult. Well played. Alright, so we got the Transcendence now. That's going to give me 10% cooldown. Now we straight we go straight into Genji's. And then we'll go straight into... Um, after Genji's, straight into Sekhmet's. Or Cad Club. I don't know. Which one do you guys think is better? Probably... Sekhmet is probably best used when you have max cooldown to fully utilize the extra one second off. Hello? Oh man, I do numbies. Just trying to make sure that I'm getting all my stacks. Pop some pots. Not much happening right now. Just kind of, kind of vibing. Wait for the minions to go a little bit further. And then you group them all up like this. And he he doesn't have Kraken probably. So I'm hard chilling. There's not much up on the map right now. I'm just kind of kind of waiting for treasure chest to spawn. Didn't spawn there. Didn't spawn there. I got the bad spawn for him. Stay in the fight. Um let's just get the treasure chest. Oh, hello. Oh. Nice. Nice, 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 nice. Holy. I got the insta ult. 
to improve my that was life. very close by the way that was that was way closer than it should have been i basically just installed it for the 89 damage plus the stun um i actually do want blue buff i think right like cooldown is just massive for me oh i'm a warrior i just realized i don't even need to build 50 percent. i can build if i build 30 percent cooldown i can get 50 percent. hello i got it i don't know what universe i'm living in but getting that buff is insane um I mean, honestly, there's nothing on the map. I'm kind of hyper farming. You don't scare me. Stay with me. Just wait until I can group these minions up for my three. And I am maxing my heal second. That's that's okay. I mean, it's like a decent play. One's defense is a solid choice. Him going Chronos Pendant means that he's playing for the late game, which does scare me a little bit because I am going to be getting Bobble, which, if you don't know, makes you take 10% more damage. Um, You're dead as hell here, though. I'm like 90% sure. Correct. You greedy boy. I don't know why he did that. Now I can go Sekhmet's. I'll probably sell that, grab that. Um, Sekhmet's now... Because I'm a guard, or because I'm a warrior, I have 10% cooldown by default. Because of my being a warrior passive. Not Guan Yu's passive, but um, classes actually have passives. I, I They introduced it. They didn't really talk too much about it, but basically uh, classes have passives now, and the passives are as follows. I will let you know in a second. Um, warriors, and these passives, by the way, they start lower, and they scale up all the way up to, um, I think by the time you're level 15 is when they max out. Your passives max out at level 15, so. <clears throat> Sorry, hold on. This should be mine, I'm pretty sure. Yeah. Um, so your passives max out, I think, at level 15. It could be level 20, but I could be wrong about that. Don't quote me on that, but the passives are for your classes. If you're a warrior, you get 10% cooldown. If you are a guardian, you get crowd control reduction built into your kit or built into your character. If you're a mage, you get extra power. If you're an assassin, you get extra base uh, pen. It's not percent pen, it's base pen. And if you are a hunter, you get extra auto attack damage. Um, and again, all that stuff scales up. The only number I know specifically is the 10% cooldown you get for being a warrior. I never really paid attention enough to the others. So I don't really know the others uh, off the top of my my dome piece. So I apologize about that. But I do know warriors. All right. So with transcendence and Genji's. With Transcendence and Genjis and Sekhmet's and my class passive of being a warrior, I now have max cooldown. I'm now at 40% cooldown. Well, I, I will be in a level. Now I go Bobble. And then with Bobble, 50% cooldown. And Sekhmet's. I feel like, how do I, like, do I not just not have cooldowns? Oh, you know what I should have done, man? I should have gone a uh, cooldown med. That would have been smarter. 
Right, let's heal. Get segments proc. Lower my cooldowns. Look at that, dude. Look at that. Look, dude. You're telling me... You're telling me that's not super good? That's insane, man. I got two full Talus strikes out and two dashes through him. That's incredible. Alright, he's going Breastplate now. His build's not bad. His build is just really slow. Like, delaying your Bancrofts to get cooldown, I understand it, but you ha the problem with, with that build is it only works if you're ahead. Oh, man. I will say, Sekmets is going nuts right now, though. Every time it's proccing, I feel like I'm fucking invincible. Well, okay, maybe not that time. Because <laughs> I couldn't get to him. I couldn't hit him. Alright. Fair enough. Fair enough. Stay in the fight. Understandable. Stay with me. Dude, I really feel stupid. I should have gone the upgraded med. I will right, we'll go bobble, so now we we are capped. At 50% cooldown. And I'm feeling pretty good about it. He's actually going Toxic Blade. At least it looks like a Toxic Blade. I don't know if I fully agree with that. But I guess it doesn't really matter if I agree with it or not. Why would he care? I'm going to try to cringe him. Right, now he thinks I'm going to cringe him, so now I full commit. Now he thinks I'm holding corners. He's so scared of me. You know the problem is I can't do bull demon. <laughs> that is that's my current issue. Bull demon is too tanky for me. I need to go like Crusher and Heartseeker as my last two items, so that um, when I hit him when I hit him with my abilities, he feels it. You know, because right now he doesn't really feel it. I want him to crack in me. If he crackens me, then I have a free opening for uh, for Bull Demon. Which, by the way, was the entire point of that dive. Trying to get his Kraken. But it looks like he knows that and he's holding on to it. I do have 50% cooldown though, so I don't really care that much about using my ult. My ult is, is super disposable. Cooldown is 45 seconds, bro. Like, there's no way. There's just no way I ever don't have it. I'm listening for him. Oh, there he is. Okay. Better 
<sighs> He's so fast, dude. He's so Poseidon. Alright, I just want to go Heartseeker. My Crusher did do 70 damage there. That's not bad considering I only got one rotation of abilities on him. And in an ideal world, I get at least two. Potentially three. There we go. There we go. There's that sec mess really working for me. Okay, that was my problem. I, I did my whole build around Sekhmet's working for me, and then I forgot to use it on my last all-in. Like an actual bozo. By the way, I don't think I win here. But I can do quite a bit of damage to this Titan. But I don't need to win immediately, you know. I, I'm, okay. I'm I'm comfortable waiting it out a second. He's looking for me. Ow. Oh, I can totally kill him here. Nice. Dude, it is so... It is so freaking hard for him to fight me. Like, when I have Heartseeker... I mean, not when I, I don't even have Heartseeker yet, but let's say I did get Heartseeker, right? Like, he's just... He loses those fights. I have Blink... <coughs> I have my alt up every 43 seconds, was it? Was it 40? It was 42 and a half seconds, right? Like, I have my alt up every 43 seconds. I have blink up, and I have practically no cooldowns. I can double dash, like I'm using door dash. Like, it's just crazy. I really thought that was a report notification. I basically just have no cooldowns. And then, dude, if I was, if I was intelligent and I got upgraded med... Like you just you just straight up don't have cooldowns. That's insane. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And until next time, guys, peace.